Now joining me to shed more light to this issue is a legal practitioner, Frank Tiete. Thank you for joining us. And now, do you agree with the explanation of Justice Kuwabi with regards to the cross-examination that the term of reference for SARS is different um, from that of the LCC? Oh, thank you very much. Certainly not. I cannot agree with that kind of... If you of, can hear uh, me, position. Frank, I said, um, do you agree with uh, what Justice Okuobi said with regards to um, the terms of reference? She said um, that the situation with SAS is totally different from that of the LCC. Do you agree with this? I do not agree with that. Let me tell you, the twin foundations of justice and whenever you want to find out the truth is to ensure that one person, according, under the principles of natural justice, one person does not become a judge in his own cause, and then there is also the need to always hear the other side. If you wanted to hear only one side, then you didn't have to make it public. You didn't have to invite the person. You probably would have just asked the person to make certain depositions on paper and sent them to the panel. So long as you make allegations of allegations, or you make statements of fact, those facts must be subject to one form of scrutiny or the other. It is not a question of uh, terms of reference. It is about fundamental principles of attainment of justice. You cannot attain justice and truth when you do not subject facts to any form of interrogation or the other. So I cannot agree with any uh, procedure that says that facts will be presented to a, a, a panel of inquiry and those who present such facts cannot be questioned. That is not according to our legal culture in Nigeria. Now, um, if you feel the, the very process of this judicial panel is flawed from the beginning, now what do you think can be done? Because, of course, at a point in time, they need to submit their recommendations. And, of course, this will affect um, the general outlook. Now, what do you think? What are the recommendations you're making? First and foremost, it's very important to end and continually retain public confidence in what is being done by uh, the panel. Let it not appear that it's just a charade, it's just a, a window dressing to just uh, play to the gallery, to the world that is so interested in what has happened. So, but, but let it not also be that uh, the, 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 the government simply only wants to just keep up with the Joneses, the standards and all of that, you know, you know but without a substance. You know, when you ask me what should be done, when you have a panel being headed by a retired uh, justice, or, or, or a retired or a seven, uh, judicial officer, the expectation is that you must put to, you must put to, you know, practice the principles of attaining truth. So one of which is that he who alleges must prove when you say that such and such a thing happened you should also give opportunity for people to tell to question you so the first thing they should do is to even though a panel is not supposed to be bogged down by you know uh, stringent rules of evidence but these are very fundamental basic simple things that must be there so that there can be a, some semblance of truth and, and and meaning business so there must be the rules of cross-examination must be introduced immediately. Let persons who bring up facts be questioned. So and so, what happened? What happened thereafter? What happened before? You know, so these are things that, you know, that have put confidence in the, uh, in, now, in the process. I'm sorry to interrupt, because... Frank, um, but I need to ask. Now, this process or this panel is sitting currently. Is there anything, can anything be done at this time? Well, of course, yes, but it's going to be difficult for the uh, chairman of the panel to reverse herself when she has already said that uh, uh, there will be terms of reference have excluded the rules of cross-examination. It's going to be very difficult, but, I, 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 but honor demands that they go straight and say and acknowledge that in order for us to attain and find out the truth so that the public can continue to have confidence in this panel, then let us have the situation where anybody, anybody that presents facts before the panel can also be cross-examined. It's very, very important. 
or else it will be like child's play. And uh, there will be no, you know, a confidence, and then the outcome will be looked upon as something that has been arranged and forced on the populace. It is not going to be proper. It is going to, it will just be waste of time and money. All right. Thank you very much, Frank Tete, for joining us on News Now.